today I do hon han elohenida. That's not something I always have to say, but it would be good to know today for the film. Skaya sea hon elohen. Just Mika, okay. The gender neutral pronoun hen is now commonly used by most Swedes, and government funded gender neutral kindergartens often spark controversy in the foreign press. With recent victories for the trans rights movement and more young people defining something other than male and female than ever before, I'm curious to find out what it's like to grow up without the gender binary. This is Nico. Hello. This is Margareta. Hey, and nice this is you. Mika. Margareta yeah, is my partner's mother. And how old is Nico? Nico's two and a half. And yeah. Mika is? Uh, almost five and a half. Mika and Nico were both assigned male at birth. But in this family, the sex you were born with does not dictate your gender identity. It's like they can just play with whatever toys they want and yeah. you would never dictate what those toys no. were. No, absolutely okay. not. So they both have a lot of cars and they both have dolls. Whatever they're interested in. I can understand that there may be some things that are new and harder to understand. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do you think those things are? Well, specifically to do things like gender. Wow, check this out. Go ask Mama what she thinks. When Mika's wearing dresses, and because Mika has very, very long hair, most people assume that Mika's female. If someone called Mika, female in front of Mika, would you correct them or intervene? No, no, we've never, we've never corrected anybody. In fact, if people call Mika she, we might go with that too. We use he for them. Sometimes it's mixed and it depends, you know, because in Sweden we have hen, the gender neutral pronoun in Swedish. Kore is actually the only other kid we know in Örebro who was assigned male at birth who also has long hair and wears dresses. I would say nearly 99% of all people that we meet say that, that, that he is a girl. Now he has started to say that he's a girl. The other day he's a boy and sometimes he's a cat. Okay. Do you think that you are that? But when you have children and children, you ask them if you are a girl. But today I am a girl. Today I am a girl. Okay. Would you like to have hair that short? No. Why not? Hold still. Huh? If they should call you Hon, Han, El or Hen. Han? Hen. 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 You want them to call you Hen? Like, yes. What do you want to be when you grow up? Want to be a builder. A builder? Yeah. What do you want to build? A house. Ska jag säga hon eller hen? Just Mika, okay. Hey Mika, why don't you like it when people ask hen, hun, han, hen? Just don't When you ask Mika about gender, Mika doesn't always seem to want to talk about it. Do you, why do you think that is? Dr. Erberhard has written books on raising kids and a recent article he wrote heavily criticised attitudes to gender in Swedish kindergartens. Why do you disagree with the Swedish government's recommendation that schools do not reinforce gender norms? I think it's damaging because it tells us that behaviours that are typical for boys, typical for girls, is problematic. It's a brainwashing strategy that you are eradicating sex differences, which I do, do oppose. The problem today in Sweden is with the boys. Our boys fail in school, not the girls. Our boys are committing suicide, not the girls. So the problem today in Sweden is with the boys. If you have this law that you should treat boys like hens, it implies that you should not behave like the boy you were born to be. I hope that when Mika feels that he's really a man later, that he has no problem to be a man then. Sleeping Beauty says no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbian moms. 
Our boys are committing suicide, not the girls. Our boys fail in school, not the girls. Our boys are committing suicide. Supermjuka hjältar och se. Ja men superhjältar, de kan vara som vanliga människor. Spiderman måste också gå på toaletten.